Welcome to Nuno Solutions, guys. I'm Nuno, and today I'm going to show you guys how to filter data in SQL Server like a pro. The way you filter data, you, by now you should know that you use the WHERE clause with various predicates, which are conditional statements that either return true or false. So in the example that I'm going to show today, I have seven employees. I'm just going to select star from this employees table. We've worked through this in the past. I have four columns, emp ID, emp name, emp phone, and emp email. What I'm going to do is show you how you can create a WHERE clause where you can pass optional parameters and why this is useful. When you want to create a store procedure to return data and you want to create multiple parameters, you may want to pass one or many parameters, but you don't. sometimes you may not want to pass all of them. So well, this makes it really easy uh, to query data. So let's, let's let me show you an example. So we're going to do a select WHERE. And we're just going to say a very basic where clause we know is emp ID equals, and we're just going to say at emp ID. This variable doesn't exist yet. We're going to declare this variable up at the top here, emp ID. We're just going to make this an int. And we're going to set this to, let's just say, uh, we're going to set this to one for now. We run this, we, we already know we're going to get just the employee with the employee ID one, which is Nuno. Very easy, right? This is a simple basic thing that you guys learn from day one when you learn a SQL. Now, how do you make this a little work a little bit better? What if you wanted to make it so that what if emp ID was not set and you still want to have this pr predicate in the where clause, but you want to return all employees if the emp ID is null? How do you do that? It's actually kind of simple. What you do is you're going to use a parentheses to contain this expression. And what we're going to say here in this expression is if the emp ID parameter is null or the emp ID column equals the emp ID parameter value. And so what ended up happening is if emp ID is populated, this expression evaluates to false. So it'll go into the or clause, which is the emp ID equals the parameter emp ID. And if the value that we set in the parameter, if any record in the employees table matches, it'll return those records. So for now, we're just going to set emp ID to null and we're going to run this and this should give us all employees. So now if we want to just return a single employee, we can very easily just specify an employee ID, run it again. This is not very impressive, but what if you had lots of parameters? For example, let's say, I don't know, let's, for, as an example, let's add an AND expression and let's add another conditional um, predicate in here with a, another parameter. So let me just declare another parameter here. Let's do, how about we use emp name, right? And this is a varchar50. And I'm just going to set this to null for now. And I'm going to add a condition, a predicate to the WHERE clause, where we're going to say, if the emp name per parameter is null or the emp name column equals the emp name parameter, right? So if we run this, which is because we're setting the emp ID to three, we should still only get one emp ID, which should be Carla. So let's run it. And right now it's working exactly the way it was working before. But let's say now we want to pull uh, any employee with the name Nuno and we execute this. Now it returns nothing. That's because this expression is evaluating employee ID is not null. So let's check the second part of this predicate. Oh, we do have an emp ID an employee record with emp ID three, which is what the parameter emp ID is, you know, set to. But then the problem is because we're using an and here, it's saying where emp name is null, which is not null. Emp name parameter is set to Nuno currently. So this is going to evaluate the false. So it's going to go into the or clause, which is where the emp name column equals the emp name parameter. And since an emp name parameter is Nuno, it returns nothing. Now, if we set emp ID to null and run this again, now we do receive Nuno. So one thing that's interesting, if I only run select star from employees to return all employees, you'll notice there's actually multiple Nunos in here. There's three Nunos. So what, what if we wanted to return all three of them? It's very easy. We change this equal into a like, and then in the value itself, when we're setting the emp name variable, we're just going to type in the value we want with a percent. In this example, it's Nuno percent. This basically is the same as saying starts with Nuno, basically. And then it doesn't matter what comes after that. You run that. Now we get all the Nuno parameters, right? So let's add another one in here. What if we add in emp email? Let's actually, let's do emp phone. And this is a varchar 10. And we're going to set this to null for now as well. And we're going to add another predicate to our where clause. I'm just going to go ahead and copy this because it's quicker. Get rid of this end. And I'm just going to copy emp name parameter, paste it in here, and then change this to, uh, this to emp phone. So now we have three variables, right? And we have three predicates in our where clause that we're pulling from employees. So if we run this right now, it still returns any, all the records that have Nuno. But you notice if you look at our data set, what if we wanted just the Nuno records to have an employee phone number that has starts with 666? So let's say we just set this to 66666, right? For example, five sixes in here. And you run this. 
you're not gonna return anything because it's it's doing a, an exact match right because unless you use the percent in here in the like condition you need to use a percent if you want to do a starts with or or ends with so let's say let's just do a per, add a percent to this and now we should get two records the two nuno records that have the phone number with all sixes and boom that's what we get so this is like not too interesting i guess it's just it's still a basic query but where the power really comes into this is if you want to create a store procedure um, and let's say we just do this create procedure and we're just going to call this usp get amp we're going to leave these in as parameters i'm just going to add an as in here right because this is the structure that you need to create a third procedure i'm just going to add a carriage return there so we're selecting star from employees and then we have these predicates in the where clause and i'm just going to remove the semicolon from here because you, you don't need that i'm also going to set each one of these to null because by doing this we're basically making all of these parameters optional variables so now if we create this procedure successfully created let's just run it and see what we get you could just highlight it like this and run it it works but usually you want to do it like this you want to use the execute statement exec statement so when you run it you notice that you get it returns all the employee records and why is that that's because we made all of these null all these parameters are null which makes them optional so now if we wanted to call this store procedure and we wanted to get all the employees with the, that start with the name nuno you got to get the parameter emp name and in here, you do like this. You set this parameter to nuno percent, just like we were doing before when we were declaring the variables. You execute this, and it'll give you all the nuno records. Pretty cool, right? Now you want to do a filter on emp phone. Easy. Take the emp phone parameter. Starts with 6666 percent. Run that. And now we get just the two nuno records. So if you wanted to create a store procedure that's kind of like a multi-purpose procedure for your web apps or your mobile apps, whatever it is that you're building, this is a really easy way to do a generic get employees or get whatever object you want to get with one or many optional parameters. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, by the way, and subscribe. Thank you. Take care.